What's up? My name is Technobi here for Chocolate and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to set up VS FTP in order to get an FTP server on Ubuntu or Debian. In my case, I'll be using Debian 11. As long as you have apps, you should be able to follow along with this guide. Though, of course, if you install VS FTP through other means, the setting up step should be pretty much exactly the same. Anyways, I've gone ahead and SSH'd into my server here using Visual Studio Code. What we need to do is sudo apt update and sudo apt install vsftpd to install the program itself. Then we'll be running sudo cp etc slash vsftpd.conf and slash etc slash vsftpd.conf.rig to move the original file so we can create a new one or rather copying it. Then we'll allow our FTP server through the firewall. So I'll run sudo ufw status and we'll check to see if port 20 and 21 are allowed here. If they aren't, we'll run sudo ufw allow 20 slash tcp then 21 tcp then 990 tcp and finally we'll be running 40 123 colon 50 123 and hitting enter once more now sudo ufw status and we'll see that all of our ports here are forwarded as we would have hoped awesome so i'll clear now we'll create an ftp user and give them their own folder i'll run sudo add user followed by maybe techno ftp and hit enter then we'll need to enter a password for our ftp account then i'll do it again and we can fill in some information about the account for me though i'll just leave everything as the default as i don't really need to worry about this yes it's correct awesome now we need to create an ftp folder for this to work with sudo mkdir slash home slash and i'll make it techno ftp slash ftp now there's an ftp folder in this user's account will sudo ch own nobody colon no group slash home slash f techno ftp the username slash ftp then sudo ch mod a hyphen w slash home slash username in my case techno ftp slash ftp finally sudo ls tac la slash home slash username techno ftp slash ftp and we'll hit enter. Now you should see results that look something like this. Essentially, we're just verifying the permissions. Now we'll create a folder for file uploads. sudo mkdir slash home slash username techno ftp slash ftp slash files. Then sudo ch own this time username, which in my case is techno ftp colon username once more techno ftp slash home slash username techno ftp slash ftp slash files. Now sudo ls tag la slash home slash username techno ftp slash ftp and we'll see the folders here yours should look something like this we're just checking the ownership of these folders and files now we can create a test file just to see if it's there when we connect to our server so I'm echo this is a test file and pipe it into sudo t slash home slash username techno ftp slash files slash maybe tests dot txt i missed the ftp folder so ftp there we go now sudo nano slash etc slash vsftpd dot conf will edit the configuration file I forgot the first slash. There we go. Right. So I'll make sure anonymous enable is set to no and local enable is set to yes. Then uncomment write enable and leave this as yes. We'll look further down for ch root or control W to search ch root underscore. And we can see ch root local user yes. We'll be uncommenting this line as well. Then we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and we'll add user underscore sub underscore token equals dollar sign user and local local underscore root equals slash home slash dollar sign user slash FTP. Seems the best about this. It's local underscore root. There we go. Now we'll also set the passive ports. PASV underscore min underscore port equals in my case 40,000 and passive max port I set to 50, 23. These are the same ports that we allowed through earlier. Then on a new line, we'll be adding user list underscore enable equals yes. User list underscore file equals slash etc slash vsftp d dot user list and finally user list underscore deny equals no in all caps awesome let's go ahead and save this file control x to close it and now we'll be creating our user list file we'll echo followed by the username in my case techno ftp pipe sudo t tag a slash etc slash vsftp d dot user list and now our username has been saved in this file now we can cat 
slash etc slash vsftpd.userList just to see if it's been saved. And yes, it has. Now we'll need to simply restart our vsftp server. So sudo system ctl restart vsftpd and we can test our server. So I'll pull up FileZilla over here. Now the host will be ftp colon forward slash forward slash followed by the IP, username and password and quick connect. I'll connect to it. It's currently unsecure. And there we go. We have files and inside of files, we have test.txt. We can edit this and you can see this is a test file. Awesome. So the FTP client works and so does our user account. Once again, you can see the permissions of these files and folders here. They're all exactly as we had set them. Now let's go ahead and enable SFTP and create an SSL certificate. So sudo open SSL rec tac x509 tac nodes tac days 365 tac new key rsa 2048 slash etc slash SSL slash private slash vsftpd.pem and tack out slash etc ssl private vsftpd.pem once more like that and we'll hit enter this is of course assuming that i wrote it out correctly i missed hyphen key out here then i'll hit enter it'll generate our key I'll enter a country code state city i'll leave blank organization name i can set something here unit i'll leave blank now for the common name i'll enter the server ip email address i'll leave blank and there we go clear now we can sudo nano slash etc slash vsftpd.conf and we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom where we'll see rsa cert file essentially we'll be replacing the path here with the certificates that we just created so etc ssl we'll make etc ssl private vsftpd.pem and the same for the next one so vsftpd.pem and ssl enable will set to yes now we can go ahead and force SSL only connections. So allow a non SSL equals no force local data SSL equals yes and force local logins SSL equals yes. Then we'll add SSL underscore TLS V1 equals yes. SSL V2 equals no and SSL underscore SSL V3 equals no. And finally, we'll fix some possible issues that we could have with SSL clients. Quire SSL reuse equals no and SSL underscore ciphers equals high. Then we'll save it, close it and sudo systemctl restart vsftpd. And now we can try and connect using FileZilla. I'll connect to the normal FTP. And this time you'll see that we have to trust the certificate of our server. I'll click yes here. And we've connected to our server through SFTP. Once again, things are working properly. Just this time we have a certificate. Awesome. Finally, let's disable shell access for this account as it's only going to be an SFTP account. Pseudo nano slash bin slash FTP only and hash exclamation mark bin sh echo limited to FTP access only as the error save and close sudo chmod a plus x slash bin slash ftp only and sudo nano etc shells inside of here we'll scroll down to the very bottom and we'll add slash bin slash ftp only save and close then sudo user mod your username in my case techno ftp tech s slash bin slash ftp only and now if we were to try and use ssh to get into this account it'd be outright denied we can however still su into the account enter the password here using su followed by the username entering the password you'll see it's limited to ftp access only and that's pretty much it so thank you all for watching my name's been techno behavior troubleshoot and i'll see you all next time ciao